In today's episode, you'll learn how to make delicious kosher Hawaj Miami style short ribs using Prairie Street Prime's USDA Prime Miami style short ribs and these fresh ingredients. <laughs> oh yeah, this looks amazing. Welcome to the Prairie Street Prime Culinary Kitchen. I am your chef today, Chef Kendra. Prairie Street Prime is your luxury kosher meat experience. And today, we're going around the world. I've been very fortunate to travel and cook for the past decade of my life, super blessed. And I'm gonna take you to Yemen, where I learned how to make this beautiful spice mixture called hawaj. But before we get into that, Let's talk about this meat. So we're going to be using kind of a different cut of a short rib. It's actually the Miami cut short rib, also known as the Korean cut sometimes. So I'm gonna open it up and take a look and see. Wow. These Miami cut short ribs are spectacular. As you know, we always talk about how amazing the marbling is of the Prairie Street Prime meat products. And you can see this beautiful fat cap and you can see this beautiful marbling in between the bones here, the cross cut. I'm gonna set these aside just for the time being. And I'm gonna mix the first part of my spice mixture. It is a hawaj, so it is just a very simple combination. Something that you actually might be able to find at your supermarket, but something that you can totally make on your own because I know for a fact that they have these. So it is cumin in, turmeric, salt, I'm gonna be a little generous with it, and lots of ground black pepper. Give it a nice little mix. Okay, now, unlike other braises, I'm actually not going to brown these first. I'm gonna build up this dish with my aromatics here, my carrots, they're just roughly chopped, some quartered yellow onions, fennel seed, and tomatoes. Then I'm gonna lay my meat on top of it, add some water and some wine, get my hawaj all over, and then throw it into the oven. I have this wonderful, heavy crock pot. This is exactly what you're gonna wanna use. You're gonna want that nice, rich cast iron. First things first, we have carrots, Boop. some quartered onions. And if you notice, what I did was, I like to put the carrots on the bottom of the pan so that way they kind of serve as like a rack for the ribs. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay these on top. All right, so I washed my hands and I also grabbed some water. I'm gonna fill this up with some water first. So water for my stew, gorgeous. Wine, this is a dry kosher wine that I'm using. Now I'm gonna add my tomatoes all around. Excellent fennel seed, just sprinkle it all around. So what's nice about braises is that because it's in the oven for a long time at a low temperature, it kind of gets that time to let all the flavors get to know one another, marry each other. It's great, it's a very sweet thing. Now, I'm gonna take the hawaj. I'm gonna just sprinkle it liberally all around. Hawaj is a Yemen spice blend that, as I showed you before, is just cumin, turmeric, salt, and pepper. So we actually don't have to add any extra salt or pepper to this because it's already in the blend. That's it. What I love about this dish is that you feel like you're traveling around the world. It literally takes, as you saw, hardly any time at all to put together. So into a 300 degree oven for about two hours. All right, so our Yemen stew featuring our Miami cut short ribs are in the oven. They're just doing their thing. So I'm gonna make this really nice, bright, fresh, zesty, herby, spicy topping to go over top. 
So this is called the shug. It's something that's very popular in the Mediterranean. Um, you'll find it in a lot of different Yemen, Israeli, but also like Turkish uh, cuisine. So it's super simple. And if you zap it right up in the food processor, it takes no time at all. And it also will keep in the refrigerator for about like a week or to 10 days or so, okay? First things, we have some cilantro. I'm just gonna give it a nice little rip. Some nice bright parsley. Now, because this is a nice kind of rough uh, sauce, it's okay to use the parsley stems. We have some coriander and cardamom. Mmm. Nice whole cloves of garlic. Now, I'm gonna be using a serrano and also a jalapeno. The heat of a pepper is kept in the ribs, which are this white part right in here, as well as the seeds. You can gauge how much heat you want and you can keep in the ribs if you're like, oh, I wanna be like hotty toddy, or you can de-seed and de-rib if you wanna just have that floral herbaceousness that peppers tend to give out. So I like a little heat. I don't know about everybody else, but I'm just gonna gently cut around just to be mindful of those that I'm feeding. So I do wanna give these just a quick chop. Doop, doop, doop. Put them in. Boop. And because the serrano is a little bit hotter, I'm only actually gonna use half of it. So a little rough chop, throw it on in. Perfect. The juice of one lemon, cut it in half. Here's a little trick. If you hold your hand, because we don't want to get the seeds in there, hold your hand, let your fingers just kind of be light. And I'm gonna squeeze my juice. I will catch the seeds in said hands. Good. Next, just a little bit of canola oil because it's nice and light. Okay. Babu. Salt and pepper, always. and then black pepper. Okay, lock and load, here we go. Put it in, give it a twist. Done. Okay, and I'm just gonna transfer it to a bowl, cover it with some plastic wrap, put it into the fridge, and just wait patiently while the stew finishes. Drum roll, please. Let's check on that Hawaj Yemen stew. Oh, it smells so good. It's heavy. All right. It's been about two and a half hours. <laughs> oh, yeah. This looks amazing. So, the temperature of these came out to about like 165 or so. Now, let's dish it up. So, I made some beautiful couscous earlier. Super simple, I just followed the directions on the box. It's water to a boil, add in the couscous, give it a stir, turn down the heat or even off, cover it up and walk away. Really easy. So I wanna get a nice little helping of that. Perfect. Now, let's look at this meat. Mmm. Plate it right on top. Get some of these veggies, these tomatoes. Oh my goodness. Carrots. This is such a hearty, good for winter stew. Mmm. Excellent. And now my sugar. So going with those really warm, earthy flavors of the turmeric and the cumin from the Hawage is this super bright cardamom, coriander, cilantro, parsley deliciousness with a little kick to it. Right on top. Okay. The moment of truth. Cut up a little meat. Oh my gosh, look at how beautiful that is. Color is insane. It's a stew. I'll 
is a spoon. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. It's interesting because you would think, I know like in a lot of our recipes, we really season the meat first and do a whole bunch of preparation to it ahead of time. You saw how simple this was, where we literally just like layered everything up on top of each other and let the stove do its work. This is amazing. Coming up next on the Prairie Street Prime Culinary Kitchen channel, Chef Kendra will show us how to make her delicious kosher veal chest confit. It cuts like I'm cutting through butter. It's so sweet. I am going to finish this, and I hope that you join us again next week at two o'clock Eastern time. Be sure to like us, comment, share, whatever you need to do, just send us some ideas that you might have. I really hope that you enjoy this too. Enjoy.